Hey townies, my name's Philip, and you're watching the Mountain City Show. Today we're going to talk about politics and famous people. Should they give an opinion? Should they not give an opinion? And do we as a middle class even care what they think? So if you could, stick around, like and subscribe, and become a resident of the mountain. And let's dive in. Then, you know, we got to listen to her political views and shit. I don't shit. care. Just shut up. Any any famous person who they have a political view, I do not give a fuck. You know, Elvis Presley said it good. He said, somebody asked him his political view one time, and he said, I don't. No. Uh, he said, I don't comment on that. I'm just a singer. I'm yep. just an entertainer. Michael Jordan did the same thing. He's like, I don't have any comments on that. Smart. That's smart. It is smart. It's really smart. Yep. Like, for them to even comment on something like that, they... People, at least the, the population. Because the influence they have. You know, when you have influence like that, keep your personal opinion like that to yourself. Yeah, talk that with your friends and your family. You I don't mean, wanna... we talk it amongst ourselves, but I we don't do. go around telling everybody who to vote uh, for and what I think about it. No, I don't. But If you want to know, I would tell you. <clears throat> yeah, they, you know, they have to keep that to themselves. They have they to. They have too much influence. People like that in those kind of positions need to keep their mouth shut and let us all figure it out for ourselves. Right. What we think. Because I don't give a shit we what don't they need, think. We don't need Tay-Tay and J-Lo and... Oh, you need to vote for this. No, but these You know who the big one was? Is a Scarlett Johansson. The girl who was uh, Black Widow and all the... Uh, yeah. She is such a political freaking nutball. Her and... Uh, oh. Alyssa Milano. No, the Hunger Game girl. Jennifer, or what is her name? Oh, she was dating Brett, or not Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers for a long time. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, what is her I can't remember her name. name. I can't remember. She her was name. the star. I'll she reminds you. me of myself sometimes because I'm just like who I am wherever I go. You know what I mean? Like even <laughs> he's dealing with this last corporation to deal with. They probably think I'm Jennifer insane. Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. That's it. Yep. I do like her though. Yeah, I do too. I just don't want to hear what she thinks about. I don't want to hear what any of them think. If you're famous, stuff. if you're a, if you're a, if you're an anybody athlete, famous, anybody famous, athlete, we don't care. Music person, what you think? But you know what? Music, I think, is the only one that's really ever got away with being political their whole lives. <clears throat> yeah. You know, which is okay because music is a true art. Like if yeah. you're a true artist. Yeah. Right. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. But if you're an actor. A uh, bubblegum pop person, you know. <laughs> we don't give a shit what if, you think. Yeah, if you're, if we you're, don't care. If Just shut up. Keep entertaining us, yep. and we'll keep buying your songs and stuff. Yep. But we don't, we don't care what you think. Yeah, the moment you start coming off with freaking, uh, you know, I don't. I'm this. I'm left wing, right wing. Is the moment half of the people that were buying your shit are not now. Yep. Then that's yep. just how that is. Like, why would you bite the hand that feeds you? Yep. That's what it comes down you know, to. The stupidity. Heard, one one actor I've never heard a peep out of politically is Tom Cruise. Have you? No, never. He never ever talks about. I just any love of that. him. Ever, ever. Even though he's all freaky in that he's church. He's a wacko. Is. Yeah, he's in the cult. <laughs> he's a cult. He is in the cult. It's a cult, and they're looking for the head guy. Scientology. Have you ever watched? Um, what's the lady who did the documentary on Scientology? She, she's an actress. It's really good. I didn't see it. Oh, it's good. She left it. She left. Well, good for her. He should too. Wacko. That is a wacko yeah, shit. Yeah, some wacky ass people. I don't, has he ever talked to his child? I don't know. That's weird too. That whole dynamic. I mean, between... don't you think somebody would have caught a glimpse and took a picture of the way the paparazzi follow him around? Yeah. He, I don't think he ever goes there. Ever. No. I don't think his he His daughter, ever... Suri. Yeah. Kind of like an iPhone. It's really <laughs> Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Her name's Surrey. Surrey. Close enough. <laughs> oh, you know, that poor kid breaking teased with that. Oh, yeah. Imagine I never being even named, thought about imagine that. Imagine being named uh, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> like, no kids get Listen, named Alexa. I, I, there was a girl named, that I know named Alexa, and when... We worked with her. If you said her name, the... Yeah, all the shit goes off. Everything How can I would come you? on. The weather today is... <laughs> <laughs> that'd be horrible yeah i wouldn't want that no glad i didn't pick my name that would suck <laughs> imagine that no <laughs> imagine being in a car next thing you know you all the iphones start popping off siri hey siri how can i help you yeah yeah uh -uh. 
It's funny though. It is funny. But those are names that you will never, people will never be named again. Yeah. You're never naming a kid Don't that. Don't name your kid that. No, it's not happening. If you want to, unless you want all your appliances to turn on every time you yell at them. <laughs> <laughs> the lights come on. <laughs> right? That's funny. That makes me laugh. It is funny. It does. It makes me laugh. No, so the, uh, uh, that cult he's in, the head guy, and it was just in the news, and I can't what remember. What is his, that? Uh, Canada, Scientology. Look it up here. Scientology. Yes, but. But he, they're looking for him. He's under, they want to arrest him. Yes. And I can't remember what for. I can't remember if it was a sex crime. Now his wife's missing. That's it. And they think that she's being held hostage. Yeah. And they have this years. enormous compound. Yes. And uh, they can't find him. Nobody knows where he's at. Scientology leader. Here we go. David Miscavige. That's it. That's Tom's Tommy's buddy. Oh, yeah. They're like two peas in a pod. Tommy's Maverick BFF-er. and Goose. That's his goose. That's his goose <laughs> That's, his, That's his new goose. That's his new goose. <laughs> That's his new goose. <laughs> David Miscavige. <laughs> yeah. He's, I mean, when I watched that documentary, it just seems like the weirdest shit. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like something that went on years ago in the in the sixties. Or this is I, it's hard to believe that this is happening now. I don't know what they believe. Do you know what they believe? Like, are they believing like a ship's coming down? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, is there is there a ship? I mean, it might be a ship. Let's see. You remember that one call when we were s- growing up and they all had the black Nikes? Let me and they my all co- spectacles They all here. took their own lives and they all had the black Nikes on. And they thought the ship was coming to get them. It was riding on Haley's Comet. <laughs> you remember that? No. Oh, I remember that. There was like 30 of them. No. Yeah. Shelly Miscavige. Now, she's the one that's missing. Nobody knows where the hell she is. Leah Remini. Remy? Yeah. She's the one who did the, the series on Oh, us. okay. I like I really her. Like her. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. I like her. Her and J Lo are BFFs. Yeah, well, J Lo. J Lo. Uh, no. I, I, I appreciate J Lo, but no. she needs to go away for a while. I'm sick of hearing. Yeah, her, her and Ben Affleck need to stop and just move out to a small town and stay there for about five years. Yeah, because we don't care. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, cares. she's been missing for 15 years, five months, and 29 days. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And he's not in jail. No. How is he not in jail? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like, come on. He's getting paid I off I mean, here. hell, that one girl up in freaking Connecticut was missing, missing for about 24 hours, and they're arresting her husband. Yeah. This this lady's gone for 15 years, and they, nope. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's what that is. Yeah. Like, she has throwing... a missing report. Uh, you know, somebody filed a missing report file on yeah. her, too. That is just crazy shit. And when I, I think Scientology is based on that book from L. Ron Hubbard. Yes. You know, Dianetics. Yep. I got the book. Did you? Yes. Because yeah. I, you know, not because I believe in that, but I, I, I like to see other people's views, what this craziness yeah, is I agree all about. I don't think I ever read it though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could. No, be, I'd make it through the first chapter and be like, this ain't happening. Let's see. Scientology. Let's see. What is it? Scientology leader. You know, see what they believe in? Yes. I'm not sure. It's crazy shit. Scientology beliefs. Oh, there, there you go. go. It says, among the basic tenets of Scientology are the beliefs that human beings are immortal, that a person's life experience transcends a single lifetime, and that human beings possess infinite capabilities. For... 2.9 million. Sounds like you can be a part of that. <laughs> sounds like manis- manifestation to me. Yeah. Yeah. And I yes, know. I believe that our souls go on. Oh, so yeah. yeah. If you're a Christian, not even just Christian, I don't believe- Muslims. Same I'm way. telling you, it has something to do with aliens. Money it has to do with money. I Beliefs think it's a cult. And practices. <clears throat> Yes, it was developed by L. Ron Hubbard. That's what I thought. Scientology is a religion that offers a precise path leading to a complete and certain understanding of one's true spiritual nature and one's relationship to self, family, groups, mankind, all forms of life and material universe. 
the spiritual universe, and the supreme being. Okay. What the fuck does that mean? Who knows? It's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> and people pay to take these courses. Oh, yeah. Well, this will be a million dollars if you want to be. And to move up. You know, how dumb can you be? It's all about money. It is. That right there is just what everybody's doing. On, uh, yeah, take my course. Yes. If you take my course, you can go to heaven. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> Take my course. Take my Everybody's course. Everybody's doing it on social media. Yeah. All these freaking courses. They are. And Grant Cardone, work, if I see another one of him, <laughs> I'm telling you what, I, I think if I saw him out, I'd be like, dude, fucking stop. Just stop. Just stop. Dude. I'm tired of seeing your He's shit. He's got enough money too. Yeah, stop. Go away. Go away. Why are you we doing don't it? Fucking How care. much more money do you need? You just right? want to be popular. Greedy. You want to be famous. That's yeah. all. You're paying to be famous right now yep. at 1995 yep. and be on every social media platform all I the time. That's how he makes his money. Yep. Him and that one. So he can invest. That one workout guy. That one workout guy. I see him all the time. I can't take if you, it. If you're trying to lose weight this and, and is you're a doing cardio, scale. stop. This is a major scale here. Oh, yeah. That is cult shit. And it's a cult. All those crazy, a lot of those crazy Actors and actresses out in Hollywood are in this shit. Uh, well, I mean, who else are you going to talk to? Let's this, so think about this. You think famous people don't hang out with really regular people, even though they should, right? Right. They don't. They hang out with other famous people who are just as crazy, if not crazier than them. Right. Right? Yep. So the problem is, is they didn't pick people who at least were normal, kind of. Like, you have a chance. Why would you? Uh, I'm going to go out with, you know, who's a messed up person. Yeah, all right. I'm a, uh, uh, you're an actor. And I'm going to go hang out with Britney Spears. Why? <laughs> right. Why would you do that? Because it's Britney Spears. Right? Why would you do that? So ridiculous. Yeah. Like Leonardo DiCaprio, I'll give him credit. He keeps the same group of people he had when he was a kid. Yeah, but I think he's a schmuck. He is a little weird. He's a partier. Oh, yeah. And he, he's been with a lot of women. Oh, yeah. As soon as they hit 25, he dumps them. That's gets all he does. Uh-huh. He's been doing that Ew, for years. That's disgusting. They hit 25 years old, he dumps them. That's finds why they make one. fun of him about it. Every Everybody makes fun of him about it. He don't care. But he's weird. He is weird. I mean, think about it. He's been in famous since he was a kid. Yep. I mean, he's got to be weird. Yeah. He's I mean, a he partier. walks around and he puts disguises on. I mean, that life would just be fucked up. <laughs> I would not want to be like, famous. Oh. Listen. I, you know, I don't know why Kim Kardashian ever wanted to be famous. No. But she loves it. She handles she, it well. She likes the attention. She does handle it well. That's because she loves it. But what's she going to do when she's fucking old? Yeah, and then there is no more. I mean, like, how many facelifts can you have? So, like, look at this. If they, it, Let's take one good example. You know, that'll be hard on her. Right. That's where she'll go crazy. So, here's some of the main, like, a famous actor I remember, like, super famous. Sean Connery. Yeah. He got super old. Yeah. Nobody hears from him. He's dead now. I think he is. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the past 10 years. What's she going to do? She'll turn into her mother, Chris, and manage her kids. Yeah, probably. That might be the plan. They're already getting their little roles ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, based uh, you on know, their the personalities. Is all over social media, that daughter of hers. And Kanye West, her dad. Oh, just, yeah. He has a fit over it. And I don't blame him. No, I don't either. I mean, it's like Kim's almost using her to get more attention for herself. That's what it sounds because like. Chris says she gets more, it's like a master class, Chris, Jen, Chris Jenner. Uh-huh. And she said when they post with their kids or she posts with her grandkids, mm-hmm. she gets more likes and oh, more comments. Mm-hmm. So Kim allows North on there. And Kim's in a lot of the videos with North. Yeah. Most of them. That's probably why. Yeah. More exposure. And I can, you know... Uh, she's she's awful young to be all over these things especially when your parents are that famous i don't i don't think it's very good no for her no it's and not good I, for any i can understand why kanye is upset Look at about our, it what the heck's the one famous kid when we were growing up Corey ham is that his name mm-hmm. yeah tell me freaking fame is good for a child yeah. look at that look at that guy yeah right come right. on it, it's not good for kids no at all Mm-mm. And if you're a parent, you ought to be really if famous. Yeah. If your parents are famous, like, oh. come on, dude. Yeah. Like, how do you live up to like, like, here's a great example. Tom Hanks's kids how, and his wife. Yeah. How do you live? You're never going to live up to that. No. Like you might, you better go figure out your own thing that you enjoy. Change your last name and just go incognito. Yeah. You don't want to tell that's people. That's what the safest thing is for them. Right. It is. Change your last name. 
It is. You know? Be, I mean, you to can. To try and raise them. Oh, normal. You can't even raise how them do you, normal. You yeah, don't. How do you raise them normal? You don't. I mean, you're not I going mean, to. I mean, you see those birthday parties they have for their kids? Oh, yeah. The Kardashians? Yeah. And the kids are just used to that. They probably think everybody has those. Yeah, so. They probably think everybody's good example, right? that way. Kevin Hart. He did a little, uh, it wasn't Kevin Hart. It was, uh, man, I can't remember his name. It's Jamie like one Fox. of those days where we can't remember Jamie anybody's Fox, name today. Right? So it was yeah. Jamie Foxx. Yeah. And he did an ex- uh, an acceptance speech mm-hmm. for whatever ward. And and who's the Iron Man guy? Oh. Why am I having a day I know, like I'm this? having a I day like, like this. I feel like my whole mind is just blank. I'm on slow uh, you know, mode today. You know, you're going to have to use the uh, encyclopedia. Like, it's so cold here where we are. It is. I woke up this morning and it was nine degrees. It really just makes you want to stay in bed and stay warm i feel sort of just dragging today yeah me too my mind's not with it robert downey jr that's it i I love him i think he's but anyway he's like well you know his little girl jamie fox's little girl loves iron man yeah so he calls him up on the phone and says hey i'm having a birthday party for my daughter think you could swing by as iron man yeah and he went sure i'll be there at noon (laughs) like who does that yeah like who has the real iron man show up so the real Iron Man comes for his little girl, right? And he comes at noon. Yeah. And hangs out as Iron Man. I mean. Like the real freaking Iron Man. So what kind of perception is this little girl going to have when she gets about 18, yeah. 17, 16? Well, they want more and more and more. They want better, better, better. Right? So when you already give them a birthday party that, like that or like the Kardashians do that's so over the top, the kids get used to it. And it's like. Yeah. So every. Every year they got to try and do bigger and better and yeah. it's ridiculous. It fun. really is. It is. Yeah. I had a friend who was like, I kept buying his <laughs> kids stuff, like expensive stuff, motorbikes and side by sides. I was like, what are you doing? I go sooner While or later. While they're going in debt. Yeah. I went, why? I go, why are you doing that? I go, these kids don't need that shit. Yeah. I go, and here's the thing. Next thing you know, you're going to want to buy them a car. Yeah. And it ain't going to be fucking good enough. Nope. I go, because they don't appreciate shit. I yep. go, they're too young to loan. I go, until that boy starts working yep. and realizes what a dollar is, he's not going to appreciate shit. Mm-mm. Nothing. No. Never. He's no. never going to. He's never going to appreciate how hard you worked to get that. Yep. I go, so you need to quit. You have to stop. I know a celebrity that's real wacko, too. I- hey, thanks again for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and become a resident of the mountain. Thanks again.